Uh, welcome back to the bench. Uh, here's a little... Oh. Well, welcome back to the bench. Here's a little RCA uh, pocket radio uh, that I picked up. I actually picked it up for my wife because when she was a child, she won one very similar to this in a contest uh, while she was in grammar school. So I've had this for a while. I want to take a look at it. Um, I did pull. I did pull the schematics. I always tell you guys, look at the schematics. Um, so let's uh, let's open this up and um, take a look inside. Okay. Okay. So yeah, this is a an RC. 1199D or it's a model JA1 okay um, I went by the chassis number which is the 1199D uh, interesting I don't know if you can see it or not let me, uh, let me get some light on the subject here yeah hold on there are three terminals on the speaker that's interesting you don't see that a lot uh, the way, the reason they did that, if you look at the schematic, eh, where are we here? The speaker is being driven without an output transformer. You have a driver transformer, okay, but there's no output. So this one line is coming off the power as well. So it's being driven directly um, from the transistors. Very interesting, very interesting design. So before I do anything else, um, this is a four volt, supposed to have a four volt battery, uh, which I don't think you can obtain anymore. <laughs> Haven't looked, but again, this is uh, probably gonna be relegated as a uh, shelf queen. So let me hook this up. All right. Now, I've done absolutely no work to this, so I have no clue what's going to happen here. How does this turn on? That would help, I guess, if I put, if I put the power supply on. Oh, got some noise out of the speaker. Uh, what do I have? I have three volts going into it. I guess this doesn't like me holding it. I get nada. Do I have three volts going into it? I'm totally amazed. Um, this radio, I'd have to look at the date, but we're talking early 60s. And I don't know the exact date. Well, it's got to be early 60s, though. Not big on doing a channel scan, but currently on WABC here in, in the New York metropolitan area, and you could pick that up on a uh, on a piece of wire and a headphone. This is this is really a good performer. You have to understand, I am I am in my basement uh, with the fluorescent lights on, and I am picking up stations, and I'm not even well. I'm at four volts, 
a little over four volts. Let's put it down to three. Okay, so repair video, uh, not going to happen. It's a little short one. Um, I'm not going to do anything to this radio other than maybe clean the case because it's a little on the dirty side. Um, but it is all original. Uh, it doesn't even look, if I can see, it doesn't even look like the screws have been like here and here that hold the, into the case. This radio has never even been out. It's never been worked on. Um, and this is the way I'm going to leave it. I am not going to touch this radio. Uh, besides finding a four volt battery, um, I could probably make something up to go in there. I've got some three volt batteries. Um, yeah, I could probably make something to go in there, but I'm not going to do that. I have enough radios. I'm not going to play with that. Uh, but I thought this was going to be a repair video. It turns out this radio does not need repair. and just needs a little bit of cleaning up. So thanks for joining me tonight. I appreciate it. And uh, hope to see you on the, on the next trip around to the, to the bench. Take care. Don't forget, click like and subscribe. Comments too. Um, if you've got one of these, if you've had one, uh, let me know.